guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 6 of the Helpful Fox and co -san. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. How you doing, Ronko? Flash Melty. Mm -hmm. Get some sleep. Mm -hmm. Don't drink any monster. You sure about that? Yeah. Well, then go all the way back home. <laughs> mhm. It is so weird. In this show, because in my mind, all I'm still thinking of is Archer. <laughs> Wait, Micah from Valenas. And now freaking Bronco from Idolmaster. Hiyori from... <laughs> from Norigami. And Melty from Shield Hero. As his character. Because, like, normally, I'm not... Like, the only thing I'm immediately gonna hear from her is Bronco. But... I still can't believe that's also Kiyori, because, like, when I watch Freaking Noragami, I hear her like that, but... <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I know she was in the one show about, um, the drinking anime that I watched, um, on my old channel, and I love the shit out of that, but, yeah. God, that just made me hungry. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Senko, how long did it take you to defeat the tutorial? Super fluffy brothers. <laughs> uh, Mm -hmm. 
You would think Senko would say something right down there. She's such a mommy. Damn. I mean, you just got bitch slapped by her tail. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit up! <laughs> Or you could just have Senko make more! She's kicking your ass. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so mean. I know. It's <laughs> just so cute. <laughs> and don't cheat this time.
every match. <laughs> Yeah. And I like the fact that she just said that's so normal. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I went over there last time. But like... Uh, yeah. She's making the manga about the lolly maid. I'm just kidding. Shadow. Mm -mm. Sanko, are you literally about to explain to her, like, the whole story of you? <laughs> oh my god. Mm. No, it's fine. You eat let Senko clean for you. Mm hmm Because typically when you have a mess and you're trying to get ish done, you get stressed and then having a nice, clean room is so good. So therapeutic. <laughs> Keep me clean is the problem. <laughs> oh, she is a hundred years old, though. Well, if you only turned around and saw what she's doing now. Ta da! Ugh. Clean room. Ugh. <laughs> I 
I know. This is worse than what What's Her Face did in Angel. And Angel flew down to me. <laughs> oh, I missed that damn show. For a moment, I thought, like, she was gonna tilt her head back, and she was gonna get, like, a nosebleed, and be like, uh, no thank you. Mm, well, you have shit, though. Mm -hmm. She was using it for <laughs> her manga. The Lolly made manga. Mm hmm. Uh huh. I can, like, now, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, I can imagine all the Rule 34-ish that they have of her, because, come on, it's out there. I don't even want to see it, but it's out there. She's too adorable, and if they're adorable, it happens. <laughs> My thing is like, why does it 
think she'll just look with what's her face. It makes sense. Because she's like, I just want to watch a white box of her own. Chill! <laughs> <laughs> but she looked so cute in the maid uniform, but the fact is that he liked her in her regular clothes is just so fucking cute. Like, oh my god. Freaking OTP. Uh, go away, Apple. Like, my god. Quit. But really, OTP, this is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> It was really nice. I mean, I love the fact that Shido came back in this episode because I love her so much. <laughs> it's Ronko, for God's sake. And the fact that they're both playing Super Smash Bros. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, oh my God. But the fact that, like, she went to the neighbor's house and Senko cleaned her fucking house up to the point where that bitch was spotless. You could see the floor. I mean, you could see the floor before, even with crap everywhere but then after when it was all nice and clean it was just there and it was so nice and pretty I i'm just hoping that shiro does live with her i mean it would be nice so then shiro doesn't always have to go back home because she really likes to be there around those two and it would just be nice do that <laughs> it oh it's shiro's time <laughs> of course she would be in the main year. <laughs> The biggest thing was, I, I kept wondering if they were going to do this with her. So now, since they're doing it with her, are they going to do it with the other chick who's eventually probably going to come and see them? Yeah, I mean, modern and traditional, it's fine. also talk about the fact that there her his <laughs> his neighbor god I hate when I do that in my throat. Um <laughs> when she gave Psycho the main outfit like oh hey your husband will love it. But like <laughs> are you trying to tell her like yes we can spice up our relationship <laughs> because that's what I was thinking. I was like wait hold on did she really just say that to her be like okay we now know who has the dirty mind of this series. <laughs> but, I mean, it's true. I, like, there are people in the world, like, no matter if you go <clears throat> to the mall and you go to one of those stores, and they're just like, yeah, this will be perfect for your husband. Wear this for your husband. You know he's going to love it. <laughs> like, I just love the fact that, like, when he came home, and she's right there waiting for him. He literally slams the fucking door. Like, I mean. <laughs> like, honestly, I was like, oh, crap. He doesn't like it. Shit. <laughs> but no, he did like it. He just likes. He, he just wishes it was more traditional. So that's that's his thing. And he's just so fucking sweet. And they're just so fucking cute together. I can't. My God. What a cry! <laughs> but yes, let Shido just stay in the um the human world like a little bit longer. Let her live with what's her face because I think it just would be better instead of her always coming to and from every single time. I mean, eventually that's gonna be annoying for her, and I'm guessing it already is annoying for her to have to always like only stay there for half of a day, then go back home, sleep come back maybe a day or two days later just to hang out with them and play games with them. She could just literally leave the house, knock on the door, or normally, normally her, she's going to be like, bam, open the damn door, and be like, hey, it's Shiro! <laughs> be like, Shiro, no! <laughs> like, at least knock on the damn door, but if he was thinking of bad, then he just came out! <laughs> I fucking can't with my 
myself. I need to stop. But, I mean, it's true. Like, think about that. She comes over. She just, instead of just bust through the damn door and then, you know, it's like, damn, what if I want a private time for myself? <laughs> That's like when you live with your parents, or if you have neighbors, I mean, roommates, and they just bust through the damn door, and you're like, no, can you not? <laughs> like, damn. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode six of the helpful song. And the helpful fox that goes on. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next Wednesday for episode 7. Bye, guys.